Okay, so the one thing that I've always wanted is a flat stomach. What would you advise to get a flat stomach? Okay, well I don't think you're alone. I think most people would, would probably want a flat stomach. And um, it's a bit of a misconception that we have to do stomach exercises to get a flat stomach. Right. So we could do thousands and thousands of crunches every single day, but it wouldn't necessarily have any impact on the flat stomach that we're looking for. Um, there's a great phrase we use with our clients and that abs are made in the kitchen. So whenever we're talking about abdominal fat loss or fat loss in general, we all, the first protocol is always to look at the nutrition. 70 to 80 percent of any fat loss result, especially when it comes to stomach fat loss, can be down to our nutrition. So we need to look at that first. Then we need to make sure we're having a, a rounded exercise program that isn't necessarily just focusing on abs. It's focusing on big compound movements that are going to give us most lean body mass, lean tissue to build, which is going to lose body fat from all over our all over our system, including including the stomach. There are a few little tweaks you can make to directly concentrate on the, the stomach area. Uh, one of the main ones being lowering the stress hormone cortisol. Uh, when we've got elevated levels of this cortisol hormone, it can leave us predisposed to storing body fat on the front of our stomachs there, which is why we often see a lot of skinny people with uh, looks like distended abdomen. It's generally due to this cortisol hormone. So we really need to look at reducing stress alongside our nutritional program and our exercise program. And again, I've said it before, the key is to, to look at it as a long-term commitment and stay consistent with everything that we do and eventually the flat stomach will come. Okay, great. Thank you.